Safe in Oakland. City leaders touting new data suggesting certain crimes are plummeting, but many neighbors say their daily lives tell a different tale. All throughout Little Saigon, they've been under siege and there's been no help from our city leaders. I definitely take seriously the fact that people don't feel quite safe yet. Good evening on this Friday night. I'm Greg McKay. And I'm Christina Rideau. We begin tonight with the story of a family-run tobacco store victimized by the th for the 13th time by burglars. They rammed a car into the shop before running off with boxes of cigarettes. New at 5, our crime reporter Henry Lee joins us in the studio after speaking with the owners. Henry? Well, this family's owned the cigarette shop for more than two decades, but they have no choice but to stay open, even though doing so feels like punishment because of this repeat break-ins. Now, the mayor and Oakland police say they're sympathetic hoping to make a dent in property crime while also celebrating a dramatic drop in homicides.